from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. Greg D. has a look at your forecast as he always does in a moment. First, though, here are your top headlines. Today, Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is going before the FDA. Advisors will decide whether to approve it for emergency use in the U.S. That decision should come within days. You can debate. Watch this debate on our streaming news channel free for you on Roku, Amazon Fire and Apple TV. Tampa General Hospital would be among the first hospitals in the state to get that vaccine as early as Saturday if it's approved. It has freezers on standby because the vaccine, if you haven't heard, has to be stored at ultra cold temperatures. And we're learning some large testing sites may be converted to be able to give out these shots. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor says that includes Raymond James Stadium and the Lee Davis Center. Meanwhile, the rate of positive COVID-19 tests in Florida went up for a second day in a row to 8.6%. Locally, Pasco, Polk, Citrus, Hernando, and Highlands counties all above 10%. Pinellas County at 9%. Hillsborough, 8.4%. Remember, health experts want these numbers at or below 5%. You have another chance today to get some free face coverings in Hillsborough County. Residents can stop by 12 different libraries between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Each person gets two reusable face coverings and you can request more for family members. Go to our website to see library locations as well as instructions on how business owners can request 100 free masks. We're still watching that boil water notice in place for everyone in Tampa and parts of Hillsborough County. We're waiting for it to be lifted. It's hinging on a second round of testing results to make sure the water's safe to use for drinking, cooking and brushing your teeth. A first test showed no contamination. The notice has been in place since Monday because of a water main break that was repaired yesterday. Check ABCActionNews.com for updates on this. A special day for the Jewish community here in Tampa Bay and around the world. Hanukkah begins at sunset tonight. Celebrations this year, of course, are going to look a little different, but rabbis across the country are spreading the message of light, joy, and hope. Hanukkah ends next Friday the 18th at sunset. Now here's Greg Day. And it's going to be a beautiful first day of Hanukkah as we head into uh, tonight and into tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s with plenty of sunshine finally warming it up. For those of you that don't like the cold, the next several days are going to be absolutely gorgeous with mostly sunny skies. 72 degrees by 3 o'clock this afternoon. It is going to be a beauty. There are going to be a couple of scattered clouds moving by from time to time, though overall, I think we'll see a good deal of sunshine. And one of the big differences today will be the wind, which in May any cases will be non-existent during the afternoon. Forecast sustained winds below five miles an hour. You do not get that very often in the Bay Area. Gets even warmer by the weekend. That forecast posted right now in the ABC Action News app.